Netherlands are European champions! <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, where on earth are we? Well, after a short flight from London to Malaga, we jumped in a taxi straight to the magnificent Cartamar Oval for four days at what might be the world's most entertaining cricket tournament. This is the European Cricket Championship. How's it going guys? We've arrived at Cartamar Oval here in Spain for the European Cricket Championships. Um, we've been following this league, this network for a while now, absolutely love what they're doing and growing the game. And it's exactly what we're about at Cricket District as well. Our mission is to grow the sport, so it's amazing to see it going on here. Um, championship week, we've got five teams? Five teams, yeah. England, Scotland, Netherlands, Italy, Spain. Awesome. And already, so we've just arrived and literally straight, straight away, Italy have just beaten England. Uh, a couple of big sixes to win at the end there. Incredible. Just like, it's, it's awesome to see the passion that these players um, are playing with, representing their countries. And yeah, the final scenes there, where he hit a six to win it for Italy, was incredible. <laughs> three incredible. Three um, and Spain are winning on the bounce. I think they've won three and three now. Yeah. Um, absolutely smashing it. Corey Rutgers is a commentator here, and he's Spanish national team coach. And like I said, it's so good to see all of these countries playing at such a beautiful ground and broadcasting such amazing quality. Amazing, 13 cameras, all live streams, loads and loads of people watching, just the viewership's increasing every single year. Mm. Under lights this year as well, looking forward to see that later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, gonna be a good couple of days. Yeah, so we're here just to capture as much content as possible. Um, we love supporting European cricket and they like supporting us as well um, for all this amazing content. So yeah, wanna take you behind the scenes, um, particularly with the Spanish national team because there's a great story there. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. come to a tournament where you can kind of have access all areas where oh screamer <laughs> sorry as i was saying it's really nice to come somewhere that we kind of have full access access all areas to come and try and get the best content possible just setting some close-ups now just a meters away from the boundary here and the cricket's really good quality already from the first couple of overs i've watched it's although you see the memes of the fails and the compilations like that on on socials some serious cricket here. European Cricket Championship never fails to entertain. Spain are top, they've won four in four. They've beaten Ireland, Scotland and the Netherlands, I think. No, sorry, Ireland, Scotland and England. I just spoke to their coach, he said he didn't expect to win a single game, so they are buzzing. I love this tournament. But then, we almost had an absolute yeah, shocker. Yeah, special moment for him. Edge, and this is going to fly away all the way. It does well. Watch out, watch out. There's a kookaburra about. Well, you may want to take some pictures. <laughs> I tell you what, can you imagine he's there with that big mother of a lens? And next thing you know, this massive thing is coming your way. I bet he's, uh, well, I tell you what, the toilets are over there. Yeah, well, I tell you what, if that had taken a Whoa. worse bounce, you might be losing that camera. And I guarantee that's about 5,000 euros. So he gets a little bit lucky there. Well, he's not deterred. Right, final game of the day. Spain taking on Italy. Cameron to open the bowling. This guy is rapid. He just strolls up, and I'm pretty sure he's bowling like 80 miles an hour. I'm going to try and face him for Village versus Pro. But if we don't, I'm excited to watch him anyway. Corey, talk to me, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, very proud. Um, we're 4-0 now, which I don't think anyone expected. Uh, we've beat Italy twice and they're a very good team, but to beat the Scots and to beat England on the first morning after knocking Ireland out, just proud, just like ridiculously proud of this team. Talk to me about this team, who's involved? 
Uh, it's people from a lot of different cultures. They all speak Spanish. Um, there's a lot of Spanish pride, but we've got some players from Catalonia, a player from South Africa with a Spanish passport, Spanish mother, and uh, some Englishmen that have moved over years ago who are having their second chance at cricket. And all together, it's become a bit of a family. And yeah, it's, it's crazy that we qualified Ireland. We're really, really good. And this is our first year together. It's, uh, we found some new players. It's a really transitioning team. So yeah, just proud, just ridiculously proud. Okay. Thanks, mate. Right then, coming to the end of the day here, what a day to start us off. We're literally off the plane taxi here. So we're gonna go back and check into our hotel now and see what's going on there. Do a bit of editing, but they're just finishing off the game here and pretty amazing view with the, it's actually the first, first season of any sort of European cricket competition that they've had floodlights. Got the generators up running away. And yeah, it gives a nice different, a different atmosphere for the last game of the day. But we'll catch it tomorrow. That was the best catch I've ever seen. Like ever. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. Just trying to enjoy enjoy some lunch. Been disturbed by an absolute screamer. Everyone's on their feet watching here. Absolutely. That's unbelievable. Um, yeah, well, Scotland have started this game really well. I think it's Jarvis was whacking us. Chris has a background in basketball, um, and he's a physio, and he, he's six foot five. That's the best catch I've ever seen in life because he's jumped up. That got laced. That got hit so flat. He hit it so hard, and it's just best catch I've ever seen live. I got to go back. <laughs> hey, maybe we're back in the game. This is exceptional. Well, Spanish fever is taking the world by storm. There is something about European cricket which just produces the most ridiculous catches. We've already had three or four absolute stunners today. I can't get over how good the fielding is. I yeah, I don't know why every game there's been a screamer. You can hear the commentators <laughs> loving it. Commentators are loving it. We're loving it too. How good is European cricket? Um, guys, the cojones in this group at the moment, I need more hands because your balls are huge. <laughs> Scotland, Scotland were on top. They batted, they batted really, really well. They were hitting some nice shots. But three guys, Ati, Hamza and Prince, yeah. muy bien, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. We then watched England beat the Netherlands after smashing 175 runs from their 10 overs, followed by Scotland beating Italy, and then the final game of the day saw Spain continue their winning streak after a close game against the Netherlands. Cool. Day two done. Day two of the European Cricket Championships. I just love European cricket. <laughs> that was the most entertaining day of cricket I've ever seen. Now, I've been at some cool cricket matches. Um, Spanish team have won six games on the, on the bounce. Six in six and they are the bottom ranked team at this tournament. They're just on fire. It's so good to watch. Um, hope you guys are enjoying our clips and our content that we're putting out. 
We're loving it. Welcome to day three, European Cricket Championships. Today it is hot, 27, 28 today. It feels boiling compared to October back home in England. Um, but today is, yeah, penultimate day before the finals tomorrow. Just gonna grab as much content as we can. Um, it's quite exciting today. They've brought loads of kids from a local school in Malaga who are kind of having their first taste of cricket, really. Because some of the coaches are helping out from the European Cricket League. Uh, loads going on. I think they're doing a guard of honour. They've met Mr. Maximo. Um, but yeah, great morning so far. And yeah, try not to burn. I think I found the secret to Spain's success this week. Every match, pre-match, 10 minutes of meditation, and they've won, I think it's six from six now, finished in the first place. Never heard of that in cricket before, but I might give it a go. It's all about visualization, being in the moment, and being present with where we are. How's it going, are you enjoying the tournament? Yes, yeah, amazing, it's a great experience. Um, Coming back again for second year, it's just changed slightly, the standards improved, uh, all the teams kind of up in their game, it's just really good to see. And what do you make of the facilities here, Nike? Phenomenal, yeah, they really look after us well, um, from when you get off the plane to when you get back on at the end of the week, um, yeah, they really look after you. <laughs> European cricket is just so good. That was one of the best games of cricket I've ever seen. Um, T10, England versus Spain. Spain playing really well. England just finding their feet now. That was just awesome. Spain, unlucky not to win. England, well played. All to play for tomorrow. Five weeks, it all leads up to this European Cricket Championship finals day. Let's go. Serious vibe here this morning. It's so nice just to see everyone excited for finals day. Still not sure who's going to get to the final. We've got qualifier, eliminator, and then another eliminator to get our final two. Um, but yeah, first game today, Spain, Netherlands. Winner of that goes straight through. Um, but yeah, it's just so nice to be here early in the morning. Everyone's setting up, music's on. Super excited for the last day, but 
also a bit sad as well because it's been great fun. I have no idea who's going to win. That's why this makes it the most exciting final day I think we've ever had in an ECC. It's been a great uh, five weeks, Euros of cricket, and really you've got, you got Spain, Netherlands, England and Scotland, they've all played some good cricket. I've got absolutely no idea. Maybe Spain and Netherlands with a, a leg up just because they've got the double chance, but it's, it's wide open. Um, yeah, the boys are excited for today. I think we've worked hard this week and it really deserved our place in this double chance. And yeah. Hopefully we can lift the trophy tonight. I think it's an awesome event. I think the ECN have really done well. I mean, they've you know improved a lot from last year. I think the timings have been better. Playing under lights has also been a good addition. And yeah, I think you know the logistically it's been awesome. And yeah, the boys are really excited to you know be a part of the tournament. It's been a long t a journey, uh, but it's all come to the last day, and uh, it's great to see Spain in the finals. That's going to be a good one for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're very really excited. Uh, nobody thought we could be in this situation so so we're gonna make the most of it and try and win the tournament. The Netherlands have cruised their way to the final, beating Spain by 30 runs in the first game of the day. Now England versus Scotland. That was a serious game. England have just beaten Scotland by eight runs, I think. Um, yeah, an incredible game of cricket. The quality of this tournament has just been unbelievable. Um, so well played England, well played Scotland. We're now one step closer to the final. England now have to play Spain for a place in that final against the Netherlands. is that it will finish one 108 and England they are booking their place in the final against Netherlands right so we have it our finalists Netherlands versus England it's a shame for Spain it would have been great to see the home team go all the way but yeah we're in for the final there's been our break now so there's some hitting going on here I think we're gonna try and have a little whack um, but yeah England Netherlands in the final who's gonna win My name's Daniel Weston, I'm the founder of the European Cricket Network and I'm here to help cricket become the number one team bat and ball sport in Europe. Um, we are a bunch of cricket lovers, uh, we're living in Europe and we're trying to grow the game in Europe and we want to do that by inspiring the next generation. So the current cricketers that are in Europe, um, they're loving the game and they're playing the game and we're building a platform to help them play and, and grow the game. But what's really important is getting their children or their future children to see them playing on TV and creating heroes out of the people that are playing on TV to now um, promote and inspire the next generation of cricketers. So uh, we know football is a wonderful sport and it's huge in Europe and it's a kicking sport and we want cricket to be the hitting sport where people play as a team and enjoy the game and grow it from there. And uh, yeah, by having wonderful people around and great events, we've got the European Cricket League, which is the Champions League of European Cricket, the European Cricket Championship, which is the Euros of cricket for the national teams, and then we've got the European Cricket Series, which are events that we hold throughout Europe to really activate and inspire as many cricket clubs around Europe to play the game, grow the game and enjoy the game and, and make sure the kids can then yeah, discover cricket for the first time and hopefully they play it in their futures as well. So we love being here. Thank you.
two for seven with two balls left. And this ball's a free hit. Oh, it might have gone. Sounds a bit toey. It's gone, it's gone for six. Valuable, valuable runs here for England. I think if they get over 100, they have something to bowl at. Anything under 100, there's, there's, the game's almost, I feel like it's almost done. Mentally, you know you're bowling at nothing. Oh, that's nicked. Just looks like it's going to be a single, but I think they're just going to run. Yeah, they're just running too, just in case. England finished 99, is that enough? Mm, yes. Wow. I'm going bold and I'm going to say England are going to, going to defend 99. I said under 100 is mentality like wise. You've got nothing to bowl at. No, no, exactly. Um, Netherlands have bowled really, really well there and fielded so well. The fielding throughout this week has just been ridiculous. Um, like we keep saying, yeah. ridiculous catches, ground fielding, amazing from every team. Yeah, I think this is going to be a last ball win for England. Well, you know what Mr. Maxwell said? He, should, he wants to see a golden ball final. <laughs> Imagine that, the whole tournament, no golden ball, and then a golden ball final. I don't really even know what golden ball means, he just keeps mentioning it. I think, just, I think it's just like a one ball instead of an over for super over. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. That what, makes sense. what? <laughs> Everyone back out and one <laughs> ball. Complete carnage. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Right, not the ideal start for Netherlands. They are one wicket down after one ball. Direct tip run out. Yeah, impressive work to be able to bowl out. Seriously good. Yeah. England are up for this. I said I said they would defend 99. You did, you did call it. Yeah. And at the moment they've made the perfect start. Still a long way to go, but um, that was so good. It's exactly what we mean, like every ball in this tournament is just like something happens. And the point we haven't said about, there are so many wickets in the first ball of the game. I know. Like, There's something about like every, like so many so many players have got a diamond duck. Yeah. So, so many players and that's just another one there just don't know if it's like a panic to to get off strike or a panic to hit big first up but yeah there's a lot of first ballers also england have just put in a slip in the t10 game. no they are oh my. can you see that a slip in the t10 oh the bold oh get excited about that one Five to win, off the last over, the match 120 is the final. Go for it, it's going, it's going, and the Dutch summer is complete. The Netherlands 11 win, the second ever Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. And what a moment that is, Rasul is the man. They hit the winning run, they do it with a maximum. Netherlands win, one of the biggest sixes of the tournament to win it. Incredible. That was ridiculous. Seriously, honestly, that was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it just seems like the people on it. It, it went over the tent. It went over the tent. Over both one, team tents. Sorry? They were just saving it for that. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. We'll do it now then. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well played, Netherlands. Congratulations. You are the champions of Europe. We're just uploading the final video of the trip. That was awesome. Yeah, bonkers. Uh, knackered, but that is because there's been serious action on this pitch. Five games a day for the last four days, and it's been, yeah, amazing, amazing experience. Yeah, incredible. Thank you so much, um, Dan Weston and the European cricket team, um, having us out here. It's just been the most amazing experience. Yeah, yeah we've seen some unbelievably good quality cricket next level just fielding bowling the catches and then that's not even mentioning just you're always going to get big hitting in a t10 but here it's been yeah it's been amazing it's been so clean that's one yeah. of the, that's one of the things that, that stuck out to me is the hit sorry the hitting like it's been such clean hitting yeah um that even though the boundaries yeah sure they're they're, they're shorter than the most but most of the sixes were sailing over the ropes um pretty tough being a bowler out here gotta oh. say but yeah the, the standard of, of bowling was, was superb and actually 
like if you take Richardson for example for England, he won them several games with his bowling alone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's been amazing, and I think that for us, video wise, like yeah. to have free roam of a pitch like this, angles galore, sound off the bat, and this kind of bowl is just it's yeah. amazing for us. It's just heaven for for us and any cricket lover. So I think that this league is only going to get stronger over the next few few years. Wherever yeah. it will be, Croatia, Portugal, Malta. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing, it starts again on Monday. Yeah, he was just doing the final announcement and he yeah. just went, and we'll see you Monday then. I was like, yeah, Sorry? it just rolls and rolls and rolls on European cricket. Um, the amount of hard work that these, these guys and girls put in um, to, to establishing cricket in Europe um, is, is, is phenomenal. Like We've seen quite a lot of the work behind the scenes recently. With the loveliest it, people possible. With just great it? people, uh, great food. Um, great cricket, like everything about this week has been sensational. So hats off to the guys at European Cricket. Um, you have you are building something really, really special, and we are honoured to be a part of it. Fingers crossed, we can come back next time. Yeah, we'll um, we'll definitely be back here next time. But um, for now, thank you for watching the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, yeah, see you next time. See you soon.